What's going on guys, welcome to my tutorial in Adobe Edge. I'm going to show you guys how to create an interactive web button. Go File Import. I'm going to select my first image. And we're going to give it two keyframes. I'm going to put one keyframe there for opacity. And then select another keyframe over here. And we're going to bring down the opacity right like that. Then I'm going to go Control or Command L for a label. And call this Adobe Easy. Then I'm going to go Control or Command T for a trigger. Stop it, the timeline right here. So in quotations, it'll be easy. So what happens here, the timeline stops where the label is. So that's easy enough to do. Next, I'm going to create um, myself a second image for my rollover. So right here we have our rollover image. I just put an hour to glow on it in Photoshop. And we have ourselves a new image. And over here, I'm going to give it two keyframes. That way, when the timeline is sent over here, it'll play. Control or Command L for another label. Call this Adobe Easy 2. Control or Command T for another trigger. And we're going to stop it over here. We're going to have two labels. Um, one where it goes to play and also where it stops. So I'm going to call this Adobe Easy 3. In quotations and that's going to tell us where the actual movie stops so we control or command L for another label and call that Adobe Easy 2 so Adobe Easy 2 is telling us where to play the button and Adobe Easy 3 is telling the timeline where to stop so to come back here to the first label right click on this button open actions and we're gonna tell it on mouse over Go to and play Adobe Easy 2. So the Adobe Easy 2 label is where it's set right here. Let me just go over this. Right here is where Adobe Easy 2 is. And then when you play through it, Adobe Easy 3 stops it. So you have one label for where it's going to play and one label where it's going to stop it. And with that being said, we're going to come over here to the actual glow. Right click on it, open actions, we're going to select click, and we're going to select open URL. YouTube.com, Adobe Easy Tips. And for the mouse over, we can also select a go to and stop. Adobe Easy 3. We should be all good with that and let's go control enter for testing this. And there you go, you have the Adobe Easy Tips channel. I know this can be a little bit complicated. I hope that in the future that um, with Adobe Edge, this is just beta, but I hope with the full program that eventually they'll have a little bit easier way of creating an interactive button. But I hope you guys enjoy this for now with the beta program and I'll see you guys later. Cheers.